how are we all going out there, ladies and gentlemen? A while ago, I did a little job on the car and uh, I emailed my mate, uh, Dre, in America and told him what I did. And he said, it's a shame I didn't film it. And uh, so what I'm going to do is go back to the car and just show you what I did. It's only a minor job. This is a 300E, by the way. Anyway, uh, before we do that, I better tell you what the problems are. For over a year, the car, first thing in the morning, we started, and it has flat acceleration, um, which is very annoying. If you're pulling out of the driveway and you want to roll off and the traffic's coming down on you, you can't escape. <laughs> They'll run up your behind. Anyway, uh, uh, at the car, when it gets about 40 or 50 degrees even, it runs fine for the rest of the day. It's only that first start on a cold morning. And uh, I'm going to take it to the car now and show you what I did. Here we go. Yeah, I'm just going to show you a little thing. Um, in the past, I never bothered putting the bonnet right up in the vertical position. I always thought it was too hard, but in actual fact, it's quite easy. Uh, you just pull a little lever here. Now, bear with me, I've just got to push the bonnet down a little bit so I can spring that lever. There you are, just clip that lever in. Go over the other side of the car. Little lever here. Push that in and pop the bonnet down a little bit. I'll just do it again. Whoops, there we go. And just, sorry about the camera moving, and just pop the bonnet right up. And there we go. You can uh, got the engine and you've got plenty of light. Light above, light over the engine. Anyway, what we're going to do, pull the air filter off. And uh, yeah, one, two, three, ten mils things. I'll just take the filter off. Right, uh, because of this problem, uh, the oxygen sensor has been changed down in the exhaust. Uh, the idle switch has been changed. The temperature switch here, which goes back to the ECU to tell it the uh, engine temperature has been changed. The auxiliary air valve has been changed. So a lot of stuff on this car has all been changed, including the uh, the rear stat thing here that uh, tells you what the throttle position is to the ECU. The only couple of sensors that haven't been changed is the uh, uh, crankshaft sens sensor and the uh, camshaft sensor. Anyway, oh also, I changed the EHA valve down here, which is the fuel pressure regulated from the ECU. Now, and that's what we're going to play with. There is no adjustments on these engines. You can't adjust, uh, <laughs> you can't put a timing light on. There's not much you can do. The ECU does everything. Now, just like all modern cars today, except this car is 28 years old. So, uh, what I'm going to do uh, is uh, pull off the EHA valve right here, and we're going to do a minor adjustment on it. You need uh, these sort of little uh, uh, starry type screw things for the screws on this uh, valve. Before we uh, take off this valve, we undo this uh, two pin plug at the back here. Right, I've undone the uh, two pin plug at the back. Now I'll uh, undo these screws here. We have to be very sh careful not to lose the two rubber O-rings a little behind this uh, valve. So I'm just going to undo it and hopefully not lose the O-rings. Now if you look down in there, you can see the two o-rings are still sitting in their little slots so that's great now we get our little valve and this is on the inside face of it and we're going to undo that screw there right we got that screw out and next we get 
a two millimeter allen key now that's very fine two mils anyway we put that down in that hole there and engage it in a little allen head screw down in there that screw is not very tight at all so it doesn't take much and then you turn it a quarter of a turn clockwise that will make the engine a little bit richer what it is these cars are designed to run as lean as possible too lean <laughs> especially on first start in the morning and this one I've already done so I'm not going to do it again and that's it that's all you're doing and uh, and you'll be amazed and I must thank people that post this information on the uh, websites and things because that's how I found out after over one year <laughs> putting up with it so now I'm going to put the plug back in the screw plug in and then throw it back on the car there you are 10 minute job if if that five minute job really once you've uh, put the EHA valve back on the car put the plug back on run the engine without the air filter on it and just to make sure that there's no petrol leaks around this area and uh, hopefully there won't be and that's that little job done catch you later